Hello and happy whatever day it is for you. We are nearing the end. Problem number 22, multi-step word problems. Standard 4OA3, unit 2, numbers 21 through 25. Remember, the goal is to get 4 out of 5 problems correct. These are multi-step word problems using the four operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Here we go. And the problem is cut off just a little. Let's hope that it will hold. Oh, so close. Let's just write that word up there so you can see it. This is teacher. Number 22, math grade 4, unit 2, 2019, 2000, 2020. Practice problems 4083, numbers 22 through 25. Again, we are near the end. Welcome to the finish line of this marathon. A teacher gives five students. Let's just pull out those numbers right away. Remember, this is math. You are dealing with numbers. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. A teacher gives five students some cards to play a game. About time we play some games. She has 48 cards total. 48 total. Remember that. Five students. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The teacher... Sorry about that being cut off. Sometimes it happens. That's life. The teacher gives each student another number, one card, until all 48 cards are gone. Underline the question, how many students get exactly 10 cards? Okay, so some more numbers, 1 and 10. Let's go back. Word problems. Read them three times. Tear them apart. We see the number five. There are five students. One, two, three, four, five. And they are playing a game. There's 48 cards total. The teacher gives each student one card until all 48 are gone. How many students get exactly 10 cards? Let's look at the very important words. Total. There are no more than 48 cards. See the word total? So you do not go to 49 or 50 or higher. You do not go to 46. There's 48. You need to get to 48. See that one right there? Until all of them are gone. How many students get exactly 10 cards? So I'm going to write exactly 10. So it's going to be one of these answer choices. More important words. How many? Does one student get 10? Do two students get 10? Three or four? Let's find out. Let's draw this out. Now, you can solve word problems a number of different ways, but let's say you are struggling. And these numbers are small, 5, 48. We can draw this out, and I'm going to do that for you visually. So here's one student. I'm going to put down one student. Of course, student are not boxes, but we're going to treat them like a box today. This is the second student. This is the third student. This is the fourth student. If you can't read my writing, there's the word students spelled there. I'm learning that my daughter's copying some of these problems and taking all the notes. And you know what? She's having trouble reading some of my writing. So I will work on it. But you know what? It is what it is for right now. This is the fifth student. So right there, we pulled out that information. One, two, three, four, five. They are all playing a game. Finally, the teacher's playing a game with them. 
48 cards are going to all of these students. Okay. They're going to student one, two, three, four, five. Now, here's one way of solving it. I wanted to do this visually. Could you set up an equation and solve this much faster? Probably. And use those tricks from your math teacher. But visually, this is what's going on for me at least. There are five students. 48 cards are given out. We need to get rid of all of them. So watch this. This is how it works. Teacher gives out one card to each student. Right now, that would be five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we need to get to 48. So let's keep going. Just simple addition, like you've been doing since kindergarten. Another card is given to each student. And I'm just representing each card as tally marks. So right now, 10 cards have been distributed. You can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. Let's just keep this process going until we get to 48. Another card is given. Now we have 15. I'm going to go down here because I don't want it to get cut off. Let's give out five more cards. So this teacher's just dealing out this deck of cards. Let's give another five. Now once you get going, do slow down and make sure that you're doing it correctly. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Are we at 48 yet? No. Let's keep passing them out. Let's give out five more. And here's where your multiplication comes into play too. What do I mean by that? Right now, there are five students. Every student has seven cards. Five times seven is 35. I'll write that over here. Five times seven is 35. Is that 48? No. We need to keep going. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times five is 35. Let's keep dealing out the deck of cards. One, two, three, four, five. We have five more. Okay, let's do another round. One, two, three, four, five. We have to be getting close. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times five is 45. We are so, so close. We need to get to 48. How do I get to 48? 45 plus 3 is 48. So when the teacher does the last round to get to the total of 48, she's only going to give it to student 1. Mechanical pencils are awesome. Our pencils with lead, but then they break, right? And you saw that live. 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. How many students get exactly 10 cards? Student 1, Student 2, Student 3. Sorry, Student 4 and Student 5. You are stuck at 9. Let's double check our work. Okay? Let's see if this makes sense. So how many got exactly 10 cards? Notice I'm putting that in pink. Student 1 got 10. Student 2, I'm sorry, in orange. Colorblind this morning. Too early, I guess. 1, 2, 3, all got 10. I'm going to put this like this. We're at 8 minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get to 10 minutes. Oh, now it's going to be sloppy. That's why you write, then highlight. 10, 20, 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Okay. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. But there's 9 and 9. Let's make sure. If I write 9 plus 9, this is 18. 30 plus 18 gets our 48. So all 48 cards have been distributed. So let's answer our question. How many students get exactly 10 cards? It's right there. Three do. Answer, three. Does that look like a lot? Yes, but remember they're multi-step word problems. So... If this number was 10 in 4,000, well, we need to attack it a different way. But right now, visually, I wanted to show you the process on what is happening. Each student is getting a card at a time. Once they are all gone, not all of them got the same cards equally. 
Remember the question, how many students get exactly 10? Student one, two, and three got 10. So that's three students total. Students four and five, they were stuck with nine. How do we know that? 10 plus 10 is 30. Nine plus nine is 18. There's 48 total. Okay, that's a wrap. Have fun with that one. Take all the notes. And if you have some other tricks on how to solve this problem, teach your partner or someone else how to do it faster. Hope that helps. Have a good day, whatever day it is.